gonna start this again. <laughs> okay, are you a scrub? I think that the main difference between being a scrub and being in development. I think what's been happening, and I think it is where some men are starting to get it wrong. It is where women get it right. Look, there is a difference between a man who is trying to get it together and a man who just thinks he could, she should, he should be able to get whatever he wants at any moment in time. And I think that's where we're starting to fall now. When I think about um, women. Uh, man, I hate saying this, but when women talk about men ain't ish, they guys they got a point sometimes. They really do got a point sometimes. Man, even I can say that even at this point in my life, I wouldn't call myself a scrub. But there was times in my life where I was definitely very broke. In fact, I'll give you a quick story to give you an example, and then we'll build off of that. Um, at one point, I was living my life, and I remember I took a girl out on a date. <laughs> very first time we ever went out of the date and I took her out to date and I couldn't even afford to eat she paid for her food I mean we weren't dating yet it was just a date and she preferred to pay for herself and she did and then she asked me if I wanted anything and I told her I told her I already ate <laughs> uh, and uh and she, I just watched her eat and I just got to know her I ended up dating that girl anyway but my point is is man look there are some times in your life where you are really um, <laughs> you really need to get yourself together you shouldn't be able to go to a woman and get a date while you're still um, broke man I mean like I said the difference between being broke and getting it together but you shouldn't be able to go to a woman where you just got a job and you really can barely afford to pay your bills you can barely afford your insurance on your car it's hard to even pay your cell phone bill that's not really a good time to get with the person and I think what men get so sick of is they get tired of having to wait because it takes a long time to get it together I honestly wish um I honestly wish, you know, I would have got it all together before I even got a woman, you know, I kind of had to develop with a woman in my life, I wish I had had it all together before, and I was trying to do that, but circumstances, um, I wish I, like, if I could do it over again, I would totally have gotten myself together before I got with the woman and did all these other kind of things, right, because I think what's been happening, and I think this is also a thing that I want to talk about, you know, like I said before, and I made this whole thing in this other video, the access that we have to all these pretty women, like you can see over here to my thing, the access that we have to all these pretty women on the internet really um, is a bad thing. And here's the reason why. I'm not calling them bad. I'm saying that the fact that you can go see so many pretty women so easily on the internet and go pay for 99 or anything like that, the problem what happens is men are starting to get rewarded or they feel like they're getting rewarded for doing nothing. They can be fat like me. They can be fat and out of shape and broke and don't have a car they live in a studio apartment um, and they're not trying in life there's nothing wrong with having a studio apartment but i'm talking about men who aren't even trying they're, they've really gotten content with their lives it's one thing if you're working your butt off and you flip burgers but you're a great worker if you're a great worker and you flip burgers that's different i think it's far different than somebody who flips burger and is a good worker and somebody who flips burger is an awful worker because they don't care you know what i mean and so you go in there you go and flip burgers and then you come home and you look at all these pretty women on your thing that make you feel good they make you feel great they have nice bodies and all that kind of stuff and they're calling you baby and all that kind of stuff and you're getting all this attention like i talked about in the last video you get all this attention in the twitch streams and all this stuff and you're really getting it for free really you don't have to really sub to them or anything but you know if you want to see extra stuff you're gonna to have to but you get all this stuff for free so you get all these attractive women and think that it's okay that you're doing what you're doing and then y'all get in this this stupid Okay, let me not call y'all stupid. I'm trying to get better about that. Because when I say stupid, I don't mean y'all are stupid. I mean the mindset is stupid. You get into this mindset of, well, um... I mean, I'm getting it this way anyway. I mean, I'm getting it from this girl anyway. Why do I need a real woman? A real woman will just back talk me. She, a real woman will just make me feel bad. Uh, a real woman would be hard because women are complicated and they're so crazy. They don't know what they want. And they blah, 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 blah. Listen, you can, take, you can take all day to talk about how much women are this and complicated and they don't know what they want. Dog, you're not even doing anything with your life. You're going and flipping burgers, and not you're not even good at that. At least if you're going to flip burgers, be the best dang burger flipper at the job, or at least be competent. But you're going and doing that kind of stuff, coming home, not exercising, not doing anything. But then when a girl turns you down in real life, and she doesn't look like these women we're seeing here, oh my gosh, these women don't want average men. No, dude, okay, there is an argument to have for that, but it's a lot different when I, I can speak for you guys when it's you, you're doing your best in life, and sometimes you just get rejected, that happens, but for you guys who are getting on this internet and thinking that you really can pull these girls, I can't tell you how many people get in the comments, man, I've been making videos for a while, I'm not a huge person by any means on any platform, but I can't tell you how many men I hear from all the time 
behind who are talking like they got all this money. They talk like they got everything together, but you know it's not true. You flatly know it's not true. And even the men who are, you know that they, they're broke and all that kind of stuff, even the men who like pride themselves in this kind of stuff, it's like crazy. They talk like they can get any girl, but the girls are just rejecting them because they don't have money. Here's a, a secret for you guys. Not every girl is chasing money. Sometimes it really is just you. Sometimes you might be a scrub. And it's not a bad thing to acknowledge that. Like, there's certain, certain stuff we got to do in this life. Look, some of us are, are going to give it our all and give it our best in this life, and some of us ain't. You know what I mean? Not everybody's going to excel and be the best person in everything they do in life. But if you're trying to go above and beyond and get yourself a wife, if you're not a super attractive, I'm just going to be honest, if you're not super attractive like a Chad, Okay, if you're not that, you're going to have to put in some extra work. You might have to get in a little decent shape. You might actually have to have a personality. You might have to be a good worker. You might have to keep your house clean. You might need to be able to do the dishes and make your bed or do something. you got to have some kind of discipline to get these kind of women or get a woman at all. Because, you know, you know what's so sad is sometimes that men don't, men, they try, sometimes they go for the bottom of the barrel, right? They go find a girl that they know is vulnerable. This is very terrible to say. But sometimes men go after women who aren't the prettiest women who they know have a low insecurity or women who are very insecure they go for the women who don't think they look good and then they go get with them and tell them they're pretty and all that and the woman is just so happy to get some attention and when men take advantage of that because they know they ain't ish there are men who are ish who get with these women who are so insecure and then they make a relationship out of it because they don't really want to give the effort to be a better guy they go after these women not to say that these women shouldn't be shouldn't be in a relationship but they also shouldn't be getting with the man who does them like this? That's crazy. You shouldn't be getting with a man who treats you so, who just says you're pretty and that's just enough, right? So, men, please listen to me. Are you a scrub? Here's how you find out to yourself, okay? If you're a scrub, are you paying your bills, okay? On time, okay? Do you have a vehicle? Not the best vehicle, but not, do you have a vehicle that can get you from A to B to C to D? Yes? No, okay. Are you giving your best effort at work? Okay, I don't care if you work at a call center or anything. Are you giving your best effort? I'm not saying you have to be the best because sometimes somebody's better than you at something. That's life. But are you giving your best? So like, you give it your all, then you go home and actually relax. You, or you give it your all at the gym, you give it all at work, and then you go home, you rest. You, you know, are you doing that kind of stuff? No. Okay. Take a look at your life. Okay. Are you regularly exercising? I don't mean you have to go to the gym and pump it out. I don't do that. You see, I got a weight bench here in the back. If y'all watched my workout earlier, um, it should be up already. Y'all can just go to my videos. But I worked out earlier. I got a bench. I'm doing what I can. You know what I'm saying? And this is me. And I'm, I'm married. So I don't really have to necessarily do all this. But I still think it's important, even in marriage, to keep myself going. Right? I lost some weight just to, even while I'm in marriage because it's important to care about your health. And that's a big, that's also a big indicator. And I would say this to myself. Like, just because um, you don't want to go to the gym and all that kind of stuff, that's fine. But what you do need to do, why is that not loop? But what you do need to do is learn how to why did they say it like that hot girls these good just regular women uh, what you need to do is at least go to the gym or not go to the gym i mean at least go for walks or do something at your home you can buy one of those little steps that you can sit down on and you can kind of walk on a little treadmill if you could put some and then man you gotta invest some money sometimes you gotta invest in some things something you gotta cut money back on you know i've invested in some things you know that I think is better for my health. I invested in this weight bench. I have to put this thing together. Y'all see, I got a workout mat. I bought some dumbbells. And this is all for just this is well, like, who is this going to impress? This isn't going to impress nobody. I don't buy stuff to impress things, people. I do stuff to get my health better. Now, we don't know what's, what's going to happen, the time or place that we're all going to go, but I think it's important to take care of your health. And I think it's a big indicator also to women if you're not in at least decent shape, like, do you care about your life? Now, we all go through stuff and we all go through mental health, but the honesty is, I, don't, I just think that sometimes we're just lazy because look at us. Look at the, you know, if you're not from America, I'm talking to the Americans. But most of us are fat. You know, when I look around, most people are fat where I'm from. You know, I don't find people in that great of shape. And why is it? Because we become content. We think our health is going to last forever. And I think that's uh, not good. And so I don't think there's nothing wrong with a woman not dating you if you're fat. You know, just that kind of stuff matters, dude. Not having a car, living with your parents. If you're living with your parents, that's cool. 
if you got your like if your parents live upstairs you got a little basement area you're really getting your money up you're stacking your money up you're putting money into other things and just right now living as cheaply as you can i ain't got no problem with that it's one thing if you're living off them because you're making smart business moves that's another thing to be living with your parents because you literally can't get out on your own and your credit's too bad and all that kind of stuff that's scrub behavior okay that's scrub behavior guys i'm just trying to get to y'all there's a difference between being a scrub and there's a difference between building up your life living with a roommate nothing wrong with that i lived with a roommate for a long time the only reason i quit living with the roommate is because i found a place that was cheaper than living with a roommate um so there's nothing wrong with living with the roommate if you get if, the, if it helps you save money and it helps you make investment guys and here's another thing that can be scrub behavior don't get caught up in the flashy lifestyle don't okay it's okay to have a phone that's five years old okay if you don't need a phone like that you know it's okay to have guys look y'all see this this see this laptop i got i used to hold on let me uh do this right quick y'all see this laptop i I did all my home. I did homework on this laptop. I live streamed off of this laptop. I used to do live streams back on YouTube. If y'all used to watch those back in my old days, I was doing some crazy things. But I did everything off of this laptop. I recorded my YouTube videos. I did all of my uh, live streaming off this laptop. I also uh, this is the only mic I kind of had. This is the exact mic I had, but this is it. I have these headphones. Uh, kind of like these they were actually red I have some red headphones that were like these I had this mic and I, I had my I recorded all my videos I live stream this laptop I did to use my do my live streams to do the background stuff I did everything everything off of this phone actually I had an iPhone 12 Pro Max and I did everything off that phone I still have that phone uh, I think it's in my bedroom, but I did all my live streaming off this phone. Everything off of this phone. I, I, I made videos outside. I recorded outside. Guys, I used to make videos on this phone right here. Videos on phones like this. It's a broken Samsung with terrible quality. I didn't care. I didn't care because I knew in the end of the day I couldn't just spend money like that I'd rather look broke than just do what I love so there's no need to live the flashy lifestyle when you got money like that you don't you won't have to pretend you don't have to buy stuff you can't afford you can just do that stuff all I'm trying to say is go ahead and work with what you got guys y'all noticed that I was trying so long to upgrade my computer right couldn't didn't have the money couldn't do it I've been live streaming I've been wanting to do GTA RP since I started this kick stream, and that was back in December. But guys, man, I've worked with the computer. My first laptop was this laptop. I used to live stream off my phone. Then I live stream, I live streamed off a computer. I'm not a very good computer. I had two computers. One was a uh, stock computer. One was a built computer. It cost me about 150. The other one cost me about 550. I worked with that as long as I could, but it couldn't play video games. And then I got this uh, computer I got now. I was working with one monitor. I had only mic I had was my iPhone mic, and then I had to go actually buy an actual mic. Um, that was just a $30, $32 mic that I used to put on my iPhone, dude. I made so many videos like that. I did so many live streams like that. And I used to use this. I, I still have the same speaker. I used this exact speaker to play music. And I couldn't get copyrighted at the time. So I would have to play music off of this and just find lo-fi lo version of music. So this is what I had to use. I used this mic in videos and I would just sit back and smoke and have a good time. All I'm trying to say is I wasn't trying to live this lifestyle. I did it the best I could to get it together. Okay. So just, just trust me when it comes to all this kind of stuff. Slowly invest in yourself. Okay. Slowly invest in yourself. I'm invested in college too. And, uh... That is not being a scrub. When you're broke, being broke, 
is not make does not make you a scrub. The mindset and the way you are broke makes you a scrub. You could be working nine to five making let's say what eight twenty five an hour. As long as you're a hard worker and you're doing your best, I wouldn't consider you a scrub. Because somebody's got to do it. It's not everybody has the skills to go be an engineer, okay? As much as people say, go be an engineer, not everybody has the brain capacity to do that. I would say I don't. I don't. I tried engineering. Suck. I can do computer stuff, but I cannot do engineering. Hey, so are you a scrub? Ask yourself. This is the last question I'm going to ask. Do you work as hard as you can at work? Or are you at least competent? It don't have to be the best because sometimes people are better than you. Do you have your own car? Yes? Okay. If you don't have your own car, why? Oh, because you live in a town that you only need to walk? And it saves you more money to walk? Okay. Good. Oh, oh you don't have a car because you just don't, don't work hard enough to get a car? That's that's scrub behavior. Okay, it's one thing to not have a car if you want to walk around and do what you got to do. It's one thing to not have a car because you have bad credit and you just can't do it. And you just refuse to fix those kind of things. Are you fat? You're not a shape. <laughs> yes? Okay, why? Oh, because you just now realize that health is important. You kind of got caught up and now you're working on your health. You go into the gym, you just happen to still be fat. Or you go go for walks or you just watch your diet and you just eat well. And you're, you're starting to slowly lose weight. You're still fat, but you're working on it. Not scrub behavior. No, you're fat because you can't discipline yourself. You eat as much as you possibly can at any moment. You spend your money on fast food. You spend your money on cheese, eggs, and um, uh, make sausage burritos every morning knowing that's not good for you. Scrub behavior. You're fat now shape because you are choosing that life. Anyway, but not least, are you broke in living with your parents? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are living with your parents because you made some mistakes and now you're trying to get it together. Now you're 27 and you've realized that the life you were living wasn't worth it. Now you're living with your parents so you can get your credit back up and you can possibly get an apartment and you're trying to do all these things so you're trying to get as much money as you can't go in and it's just cheaper to live with your parents. Cool. Now you're living with your parents because you don't care. You don't do anything. You play video games all night. You're not trying to aspire to be a better burger flipper. You're not doing anything. You're a terrible worker. And that's why you live with your parents because you just want to be lazy. Scrub behavior. Think about it. Peace.